There are plenty of movies that are so bad, they're actually good. Well, the same goes for games. Here are five hilariously bad games that are actually fun to play. A spec warrior. One who gives a f That's me. Whether I'm prowling and growling or going full f***ing Faulkner with lots of sound and fury, you count on this. I get the job done. Rogue Warrior is a hilariously bad shooter based on the living legend of Richard Demo Dick Marcinko. This Navy SEAL is voiced by the always awesome Mickey Rourke, who curses up a storm as you kill bad guys. Lights out, motherfucker. Chew on this, fuckhead. Get it, ah! bag, motherfucking bitch. Happy 4th of July, motherfuckers. The completely over-the-top violence and ridiculous one-liners make this the tropic thunder of video games. What are you seeing out there? It's a goat, fuck, Admiral. Your intel was bullshit. Missiles are going by land, not sea. These motherfuckers because they're loading them on a train. Right. Can you intercept in time? If you stop yapping, f you asshole. Suck my balls, my hairy fucking big balls. Wrap them around your fucking mouth. See this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Make no mistake, Deadly Premonition is a bad game. It has lousy shooting and plays like a low-rent Resident Evil 4 with PlayStation 2 quality graphics. But boy, is it fun to play. I can't believe it. This is fantastic. It's really good. The insane dialogue and Twin Peaks-like setting make finding the raincoat killer an absolute blast. Isn't that right, Zach? Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In. The coffin. The thread! The citizens are being caught! The thread! Somebody! What is happening? The Earth Defense Force games are complete nonsense and really unpolished, but they still manage to be so playable and even fun. Rescue the people caught in the web. Don't leave them behind, no matter what. If Starship Troopers taught us anything, it's that fighting enormous insects never gets old, and the campy can be very addictive. Play this one with a couple of friends and you are sure to have a night full of dumb fun. You ever slice an ear off of a baby cow? Scream and scream. It's funny. Ride to Hell Retribution is one of the worst games ever made and full of unintentionally funny moments. The game is full of glitches, incomprehensible dialogue, and downright awkward love scenes. That was gonna get ugly. You saved us. My pleasure, ladies. Thank you, thank you. Words cannot explain just how awful Ride to Hell really is. Only play this one for laughs and funny scenes. Big Rig's over-the-road racing is such a broken mess, it's debatable whether it can actually be considered a video game. The game has the lowest ranking ever on both Metacritic and Game Rankings. Your opponent in this racing game doesn't move, which makes the racing utterly pointless. The ga <laughs> and the game is full of funny bugs, like the rigs have no maximum speed when driving in reverse, and being able to randomly go through scenery. It's so awful, it's hilarious. Having a game that essentially has no rules, like Big Rigs, is ridiculously fun. 